And outside the continent now, Western nations will warn Russian President Vladimir Putin today that his country will pay ruinous costs for invading Ukraine during an unprecedented one-day trio of NATO, G7, and EU summits that will be attended by U.S. President Joe Biden. The hectic day of summitry to maintain Western unity will kick off at NATO headquarters in Brussels, where the Transatlantic Defense Alliance's leaders will agree to ramp up military forces on Europe's eastern flank. Vladimir Putin has already crossed the red line into, into barbarism, and I think it's now up to, to NATO to uh, consider uh, together the appalling crisis in, in, uh, in Ukraine, the appalling suffering of the people of Ukraine, and to, to see what more we can do to help the people of Ukraine to, to protect themselves. Nobody can feel safe now. Maybe it will be Poland, maybe it will be Baltic states, but nobody in Europe, even those countries which are distant from, from the uh, direct border with uh, Russia, even those countries are not safe today. Actually, we are concerned when we see that Russian aggression forces are shelling uh, chemical plants and uh, similar facilities. This could trigger uh, a disaster of large scale, but I personally don't believe that Russian military itself will use uh, chemical or biological weapons. Despite its name, NATO is not simply a geographic alliance. It's a group of countries who stand together because we believe in democracy, in the rule of law, in the defense of human rights, in the values that underpin all of our societies. That's why this illegal, brutal invasion of a friendly democracy in Ukraine by Vladimir Putin is absolutely unacceptable. I think we have to double our efforts. Uh, Putin cannot win this war. This is very important to uh, all of us, uh, to the security of NATO as well. And the second uh, thing we need to discuss is uh, how to uh, increase our defense spending and how to do it uh, um, very wisely. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.